Welcome to the Wright Mobile Consultant videos. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to review your loads, your weather location, and your indoor temperature settings. I have already completed a two level house in the footprint. My heating load, sensible load, latent load is automatically calculated. Your target tonnage in the upper right hand side is calculated by taking the sensible load in blue and dividing it by the equipment sensible heat ratio. To change your equipment sensible heat ratio, scroll down to the bottom of the footprint, select the I button, scroll back up, and change the equipment sensible heat ratio number there. As you change the equipment sensible heat ratio, your target tonnage in the upper right hand side will change as well. It went from 1.7 to 1.5 when we changed the equipment sensible heat ratio from 0.7 to 0.8. If we change this back to 0.7, the total tonnage will change again. The sensible load and the latent load remain the same. It's the target tonnage that adjusts when you change the equipment sensible heat ratio. When you're finished, press done. To review our loads, we'll start in the loads menu at the top of the screen. In this screen here, we get a graphical representation of all of our loads for heating and for cooling. And we get an analytical breakdown below. This is broken down by load percentage and BTU and each component is color coded. While you're reviewing your load screen, the most evident variables to troubleshoot are the ones that are extremely high, zero, or extremely low. For example, looking at ducts. If you know your ducts are located in a hot or cold space such as a vented attic or unconditioned basement or garage, you know you have to change this variable. The duct load variable is changed from the detail screen Scroll down to the bottom, select the I button, and choose the duct arrow to the far right. In this screen here, we can change our supply location from condition space to something else. Choose the location that's most accurate. Then we can go back and review our loads again. Select Done, select Done in the upper right again, and choose Loads. Now we can see that our duct loads have increased because we've changed it from condition space to vented attic. One of the most important variables that drive your cooling and heating loads is your outdoor temperature and indoor temperature. Let's review those. Select the detail screen, come down to the last row, and click to the right of zip code. In this screen here, we can review your weather location, your indoor heating, and your indoor cooling temperature, as well as your outdoor temperature for heating and outdoor temperature for cooling. And if you desire to override your outdoor temperatures, check the Override Outdoor Temperature checkbox for both heating and cooling, and then you can change your heating temperature as well as your cooling temperature. When finished, press Done. Let's return back to the load screen. Give your loads one last look over, and then you're done. This concludes our video. For all of your technical inquiries, please contact our support department at 781-862. 8719 extension 2. To purchase or renew your Wright Mobile Consultant license, please contact our sales department at 1-800-225-8697 extension 3. You can also visit us on the web at www.rightsoft.com. Thank you for watching.